Hello, all you sailors out there. Sailing the seas. Looking for your next pocket knife. Looking for the next Marlin Spike. I have here a Rough Rider, an older model. This is Rough Rider RR576. That's how old it is. Still available for sale retail. And I'm wondering, maybe it's because there's not that many people who want the Marlin Spike. It's a very cool knife. Um, Smoky Mountain Knife Works had it. The picture, it's red bone. The picture showed really bright. It looked orange. And that sucked me in. Because I'm a sucker for orange. Um, it's not orange. It's a red bone. It's a jigged red bone. It's nice, but just be uh, weary if you see that picture. Um, it has a really nice anchor shield here. Um, there, granted, there are higher quality Marlin spikes out there on the market in the seventy to a hundred dollar range. I was pretty impressed with this. Now I've had multiple sailboats in my life. I've never had a Marlin spike. I didn't splice very many lines, but it would have been useful to get some uh, really tough knots out. Um, this would have been a good one. It was like $14, $15. And it's a big boy. Let's put it here. Like, it is one, two, three, four and a half. It is like four and a half inches, not including the bale. If you include the bale, it is... Almost five and a quarter inch. Way bigger than I thought. Maybe I didn't read the specs. Maybe I was blinded by the beauty. I have no idea. It's a locking marlin spike. Very cool. Now, the history of the marlin spike, besides stabbing the marlin in the head, which is always nice to have a spike to do that, kill it before it kills you. It does come from uh, the pointy snout on a marlin. And and it's used to marlene the smaller twine around, you know, like rope ends to keep them from fraying back in the day. Um, they're also used to get out really tough knots, and you can uh, make really good knots and splice rope and possibly wire with this, because uh, different splices, you need to open up areas to, you know, thread the line through. I have not done much of that. Anyhow, it's funny that now that I don't have a sailboat, I have a marlin spike. I do have a friend with a 1930s wood sailboat and uh, another good friend who has a 42-foot sailboat, and and the list goes on and on. So I know a lot of sailors. Um, this is one that I'll definitely take on the boat. So when I got it, you open up the marlin spike after you stab the marlin, and you need to put it away. Well, it's locking. I couldn't figure it out. I'm like, well, that's not it right there. You got this bale here. Pull the bell back. Boom. Listen to the snap. Boom. Nice snap on that. Now I did notice it's all on a single back spring. And you look, the back spring kind of does look. Let's see if I can focus in here. A little rough. You know, it's a rough rider. No big deal. Nice snap. Let's get to the blade. It is actually only three inches long. I don't know if you can see that. Three inch long blade. Hey, UK legal. It's pretty interesting it's only three inches for, you know, the size of knife. So it's two and three quarter inch cutting edge. And it's 448 stainless steel. 
course, I got fingerprints all over it. Didn't polish it up. You know, uh, made in China. I got it, and it was pretty sharp. I threw a strop on it. Holy cow. I'm scared to touch it. That 440A strops up really sharp. Now, it may not hold the edge as long as other steels, but, man, if you got a strop, you don't even need to bust out the stone. Very cool knife. Um, it w doesn't have a super tight close. I did throw some oil on it. The snap's pretty good. But you can see, and that's all, it's all in one spring. And it's a different shape spring. Boy, I think I'm too close here. Hold on. But this, Marlin Spike, locks in tight. There is no left-right play, up-down play. You know, you pull the knife out, do some whittling, stab the Marlin right in the head. <laughs> Super cool knife. You could do a lot with this spike. You could probably use it as a pry bar. I really like one, the anchor shield. That is pretty unique for a Rough Rider. Usually they always throw their basic Rough Rider. Now they do have this in white bone without a shield, and they uh, maybe a black bone that has a normal Rough Rider shield. It might be my card. I can't remember. But uh, I love the old Rough Riders. No stamp on the bolsters. Very clean look. Beautiful bone. Good quality. Now the blade. I think it's off to the pile side just a hair. But it's not rubbing. Great knife. Sailor's Dream right here. Um, best $15 I think I've spent in a long time. And I'm wondering why they're still out there. I mean, people might just not want the Marlin Spike. But like I said, that pattern number, 7576. Now, that's an older Rough Rider. Almost got the white bone, but I was sold by... Oh, I love that snap. That anchor shield. And it's a big boy size. You know, I mean, it's full grip. Full grip here. Blade feels good. Not coming down. I like... It's kind of cool how it's... When you have the spike out, it's cut away here. It's a very unique pattern for sure. Like I said, uh, plenty of Swiss made, uh, from, you know, English made Marlin spikes from all over the world that are probably possibly better than this, but for $15, I'm sold. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good night.